Do you ever wonder what people did to become a millionaire? Like if you could know what they did, you would actually be able to do what they did so you could become a millionaire? Is it a secret or is there a formula for success? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Today's video is five things I wish I would have done sooner to become a millionaire. All right, before we jump in, here's what I wanna tell you. Becoming a millionaire, nothing changes, right? In fact, becoming a millionaire in today's society and the way inflation's going and the way the economy's going, at least when you're watching this video or the time I'm recording it, you're really not getting ahead. If anything, as a millionaire, you're middle class nowadays. That's how crazy things are in today's market. But I get it, there's a, there's a part of the ego that says, I wanna say, I'm a millionaire. And guess what, when I hit the seven figure mark, me and my wife, nothing changed. If anything, the only thing that changed was we wanted to get better at what we did and we wanted to create more abundance so that we could do number five more often. And you might be sitting there saying, well, Joe, what's number five? You have to stick around till number five to find out. All right, so let's jump in. And the first one is you have to invest in yourself. I wish I would have understood this principle about investing in yourself sooner. Because when I was 18, I joined the Marine Corps. I went to, my first duty station was in Okinawa, Japan. And I spent two years there. And I didn't know anything about investing in yourself. Not in books, not in, you know, events or courses or anything like that. You must invest in yourself. And the best thing you can do is join a mastermind. I really believe a mastermind and a coach are the two biggest things that you can do to invest in yourself. Now, what I would encourage you to do is read the books. Read the books that are in your path, in your field that you're becoming a master at, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Successful people who become millionaires have invested in themselves. So that is the first step that you must do. Number two is you have to master your craft. You have to master a skill that you're really good at. So for example, you may look at doing marketing. You might do sales. You might do something along those lines that you actually are really good at, or you take time to become a master. Most millionaires that I've come across and help coach through the process, they are really good at a specific skill. They're not an opportunist right out of the gate. They actually figure out what's their path, what's their lane that they're gonna become a master in and get really good at. And when they do that, the game changes. That's how they build their wealth. And once they have their wealth and they have their knowledge, then they can become an opportunist. But in the beginning, they become a master at a certain skill. And that's what you must do too. And that's what I wish I would have known earlier so that I could have spent my free time mastering a skill or one or two skills like sales and marketing, for example, and being able to bring that to the marketplace and be someone that's dominating in that space. All right, so number three is something I wish I would have thought through in the beginning and learned sooner, and that is solve a big problem that pays abundantly. Look, if you're a plumber and you're paying, charging $50 an hour, you're gonna be able to solve problems, but not at the rate of someone that's really good at finding people their dream home. You know, people who are paying like three, four, five million dollars. If you're really good at helping them, that's some really good commissions that'll allow you to capitalize faster and take that money to invest sooner, or you can just add it up over time, but I would invest it. Now, here's what I will say. On this path of solving a problem, you don't always have to go at it alone. In fact, some of the greatest people who've accomplished great feats have actually partnered up. And the reason why partnering can be so good, and yes, there's pluses and minuses around partnering, is that you guys could actually conquer the territory twice as fast. You can divide and conquer the roles and the responsibilities of what you're doing to be able to create a million dollars for each of you guys to become millionaires. And that way you can accelerate a lot faster. Now I know people are going to say that if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. I'm a big believer in that, so you get to choose. But the pr point is, you must solve a big problem for people or the marketplace so that you can get a great return and be able to become a millionaire faster. I wish I would have known that. I didn't even think about what are the problems people are experiencing and how can I solve that. It wasn't until I got into coaching that truly understood that people have a challenge around their mindset and how it limits them. 
I wish I would have known this sooner. Number four is you have to stay consistent in what you're doing and make sure you're marketing yourself. This is a problem I see from time to time to time is most people are not getting out in front of crowds of people that may need your product or service, right? You got to be marketing. You have to get your name out there and you have to do it consistently. And so I literally have my virtual assistant. The guy's amazing. He helps edit these videos. Big shout out to you. And so what I actually have him do is reach out to other people's podcasts and YouTube shows and even see if there's speaking engagements for me to be on so I can get out in front of other people and they can learn what Master Life by Design is all about where we're helping people create financial freedom through passive income streams and mindset. So. With that being said, you have to make sure your name's getting out there, or your product, or your service. That is a must. I wish I would have done that sooner, but I allowed in the beginning, I allowed fear to stop me, I allowed myself to get in my head. Who's gonna wanna listen to me? What do I really have to contribute out there? And I had to get rid of all that and process through all that, and I just wish I would have done that sooner because I would have made more money year over year over year, and I would have made a bigger impact, and that would have had a compounding effect over over the course of time. Get out there, market, stay consistent, because if you stop and start, you're not gonna be able to build that momentum and that rhythm that you need in order for people to be out there. And in today's market, it takes about 17 touch points before someone actually knows, likes, and trusts you and are willing to buy your products or service. So make sure you're out there consistently, and that's why I put out all these videos and all this content, not only to make an impact, but to be consistent and have those touch points for my audience. And lastly, this is more of a bonus, but I really believe it's a spiritual law that when you tap into it, it accelerates, and that is you must learn to give. Most people that I know on their path, they're so stingy with their money, right? Like these $100 bills, they're so stingy with them that they don't do anything to give and help other people. And I don't say that in a mean or a bad way. I mean, they hold on to their money instead of sowing into others, instead of sowing into people's lives. And that comes back. I believe in the law of sowing and reaping. So the more that you give, the more you receive. And it's not from a position of transaction, it's coming from a position of abundance. I wish I would have understood this principle of giving a lot sooner because I will tell you, every time I I give, I get back 10, 30, 60, 100 fold. I really truly believe in my heart because I've done this and I've seen it happen in my life so much that if you would learn to give and to bless others, you will see that come back in so many different ways, whether it's financially or in other ways that you couldn't even fathom. And I truly believe number five is the big key to all of it because there's people in my life I've given time to to help walk through some of the challenges they're facing in life on my own time with no money and all of a sudden they want to help me they, they reach out and say how can I help you what can I do for you who can I connect you with and it's such a blessing so number five is you must give I wish I would have known this sooner so if you stay consistent with, with these five steps that I wish I would have known sooner to become a millionaire, you'll hit that millionaire status a lot faster. And even though millionaire today is really like middle class, not good or bad, it just, that's what it really is right now, the way things are going and inflation and all that, you'll be able to get there a lot faster. And if you want to, as time goes on, you wanna become a multi-millionaire or 10 million, a 20 million, 50, 100 million, continue to do these five steps, but then you can start to expand through different opportunities and with your connections to do so. And you learn to multiply your money instead of just add to it. Because most people, from what I found, on zero, from zero to millionaire, most people are focused on adding money where the most successful people, they're focused on multiplying their money. You make that shift and watch what happens, but these five steps are really important. All right guys, so if you found value, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, what was your biggest takeaway? Let me know from there. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button, that notification button also, so that you can get notified when new videos like this come out to help you on your path to financial freedom and really creating that passive income because we have so many good opportunities coming up that I hope you can be a part of. So make sure you subscribe and you get that notification button so you can tune in and go from there. All right, guys, with that, again, Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.